Craig left, and um, this brings up all kinds of stuff. Um, I feel, I feel a big. huge sadness and loss and loneliness and also the fact that I don't know if we're going to see each other again because it's it's all open which is okay it's it's just yeah this all stuck somehow and this this emotion is very deep and I can see it's not only it's just coming up it comes up for in a lot of on a lot of occasions. It's a very, very. It feels like a very deep, deep emotion, and I cannot really point my finger to it. Actually, it just feels like, yeah, a big loss and a huge sadness. Okay. <coughs> so when I think about Craig leaving, right. so Craig leaving is the situation and the possibility you might not see each other again or it's mainly just Craig leaving. That's what it is right now. I think what's also a big thing is that I, I don't know if, if I'm going to see him again because I, I have, we have been apart for weeks and, the, and it wasn't that bad. It wasn't, I knew I'm going to see him again. So this might be, yeah, part of it that I don't know what's going to happen. Craig leaving, that's the situation. Craig leaving and I don't know what's going to happen. Right. Okay, that's good. It's good to be really like succinct with it. Like right. allow like a full exploration of it and then zoom in to exactly what it is. And the feelings you've shared is loss. Loss, yeah. Sadness. Sadness. Bit loneliness, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mainly loss. Yeah. Mainly loss. Yeah. Yeah. It's a deep loss. Yeah, yeah, very deep. And and uh, left alone. I'm not sure if that's something. That, yeah, the being left alone. Like abandonment. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Deep sense of loss, sadness, loneliness, abandonment. Okay. So then as we just drop underneath it, so that's the emotions. And then the thoughts we can get in touch with, because why? What are the thoughts? Because I think that someone it's to do with someone, so in this case it may be Craig or you are to blame for him leaving or not knowing what's going to happen. So either him or you is to blame. Um, or and or because you're afraid that something, something about the future. So there's a couple of parts to it there. I don't think I really can blame Craig. I don't. I don't feel like I blame him. The 
So the, this is the heart, this, this is where I get stuck. Mm -hmm. I, I did it till there, and I think there is there's more on top of this, isn't mm -hmm. there? The whole yeah, the and whole the instrument piece. Mm -hmm. Oh, the instrument, yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. yeah. And I get I get always stuck there somehow. With blaming. This blaming, yeah, and and I cannot see where the fear is. I, I really cannot see through it. It's, it's very foggy. Okay. If you just go inward for a moment, is there any sense that you would want it to be different? about him leaving. Yeah, it's, it's funny when, when he's here, I actually think when he was here I thought, yeah, I'm gonna be good, I'm gonna I'm gonna be good. I really felt I'm gonna be okay. And now that he's gone, I want him to be back here. And on the other side it, it's okay. It, it's it's very twisted. <laughs> and of course I can see that it's not the solution for him to be here, but I guess that's not the point here. I can see on one hand it's good, he's gone, it's okay, but on the other hand I would like for him to be here, yeah. Because I guess then I wouldn't feel abandoned. Maybe the fear is really about this being abandoned. I think stay with just, even if we pray for a moment and go into just, see if we can go into blame. Mm. Like, whose fault? Mm -hmm. Is it the world's fault? Is it Mexico's fault? Is it money's fault? Is it Craig's fault? Is it your fault? Is it God's fault? Is it this situation? Like, whose fault is it that you're in this situation? I think, you know, when I, when I jump to the desire, which I guess I shouldn't do, but I can see the desire for not being alone, you know, not being left alone. Mm -hmm. So I guess I do blame it on the world in whatever form, this, this might be Craig, I blame it on Craig, that I don't feel loved. I don't feel loved. I feel left alone. And he left. He left me alone. So I'm not being loved anymore. Yeah. So yeah, I guess I blame him for not loving me. <laughs> for leaving me and not loving me. Does that resonate? Yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. That this this really this need, this this belief, I think the belief probably is that I need someone else to love me. To to I need someone else so that I feel loved. Okay. I think that Craig is to blame. And not being loved. And I'm not being loved. And these thoughts and feelings prove that I'm right. So this is down to the belief part about mm -hmm. that I'm not loved. Yeah, I'm not loved. I need someone outside of myself to feel loved. And in this case, it's Craig, but it might as well be my mother. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's it. Okay, good stuff. <laughs> yeah. And I know you've explored this a lot by the sounds of it, but yeah. is there still like, when you come down to desire, 
of what you would have wanted or expected or hoped for to avoid this happening? Yeah, the desire is clearly for someone to be in my life to, to love me. Mm. That's the desire. Can we get a little more specific with that? I have someone to love me. Because you know there are people who love you. Yeah, so what yeah. Really specifically. Yeah, no, really this, you know, the love relationship. The That's that's always been a big story in my life. Having this, this fantasy idea of having this knight in shining armor mm. who is just, totally there for me and yeah I think it's even in the course it says that we would even we give up ourselves or or um, how is how is it um, yeah we'll just stay with your desire yeah, okay yeah, just stay with okay. your desire so even more than to have someone to love me like it's this this wanting to, you know, this infatuation that you feel when you when you fall in love with someone, when you have this this total immersion in this in this sensation. That's that's what I want all the time. Yeah. That's my desire. of not existing anymore when you fall in love with someone in a way that's the desire so to be with someone to feel completion to feel like I guess. Claudia doesn't exist yeah, anymore yeah and she's not even existing in a way anymore then because there's only this overwhelming emotion. And all the worries and everything is gone. And is that with a man? If we're going to yeah. be really specific. Yeah. Okay. That's really good to get that specific. You can feel it. It's like, what is it? What is it really? What is it really? What is it really? What is it really? Yeah, yeah. Um, Feels yeah, it feels so close. Yeah. So I mean basically that's it. I mean we could go through the instrument for peas for kind of going through, but really now it's like looking at looking at that that desire, like that desire that you have specifically for a partner. You know, for a love relationship with a, with a man, with a, with a partner who can provide for you such a sense of immersion that 
like there's no separation and the Claudia doesn't exist and there's just there's nothing to worry about anymore. So because that desire is for a man, then that is bringing forth this full experience that you are living in. Which involves the belief then that you're not loved because there isn't a man providing that for you. And so it's almost proof that you're not loved because it's not there. And if there was one providing it for you, then that would prove that you're loved. Yeah, and you know, the, even that, I mean, the funny thing is that this, this desire seems to be so deep that I even bring forth people like Craig who we didn't really have this kind of relationship, you know? It wasn't that kind of relationship at all, actually. There was never this deep sense of love, and it wasn't there. But I keep so much holding on to this desire yeah. that I even take this, you know? I yeah. mean, it's yeah. like I don't care. Yeah. I don't Sit care. Yeah. 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 Oh gosh. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> and I always know that I knew this, you know, but yeah, it's gotta be honest with myself here. Um. Yeah. And that's it, and that's where all the emotions are, and and how something on the surface can trigger it. Yeah. Craig leaving, something else could trigger it, you know, for sure. But down at the core was that, that desire. The desire for something to be different than what it is now is keeping you from the peace of God and then the question then it's getting closer you know it's getting closer to seeing that that desire is causing all of this and at a certain point you know we don't want to leap to that of like okay I give it to you Holy Spirit this is deep you know we don't want it to just be an intellectual thing if I want to give this over for the peace yeah, of God yeah. it's like no this is core this is like running your mind and and it's been in your mind a long time so you want to really thoroughly be with it to fully see it so that of itself there's like okay I'm ready to lay that down now because I can see what it is I'm not sure if I'm ready to let it go to be honest I have to be honest with myself Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I can let go of it this whole belief that there is someone to to do that for me and of course on some on some level i know it's it's not true it's, it is just a belief. let's just approach it just then step by step what about in this case because it's for someone not necessarily craig but it's still a deep desire for that. Yeah. There's that longing right. for this experience of total immersion and a right. love in which Claudia disappears. Right. <laughs> which is actually beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just not how it sh- how it's supposed to be. It's, it's. I see it more like I. Yeah, I wanna. It's like an implosion. Like, it shouldn't be. I don't know how to say that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. So right now it's it's Craig who's the one. Right. What about if we just start with Craig? So the desire for Craig. Craig is associated as the possibility of one who could provide 
there's this still been this possibility in your mind associated with Craig that he could possibly have fulfilled that desire. Yeah. Or that he could change. Or that he could change yeah. and, and meet that, fulfill yeah. that desire for yeah. you. Would you be willing, can you see almost a sense of lightness with a, with a lightness around being willing to let go of that expectation that it could be Craig? Yeah, I can let go of that. I, I, that's, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's more impossible because that's what I did in the past. So, yeah, that one kind of provided, then there's someone else going to come along. Just be in prayer with that for a minute then, right? just in your mind or in your heart, just, just go through whatever words it is in your mind or in your heart, just to be able to offer this desire for, in any way that could be left for Craig, to fulfill that, to, to give him over or give that over to the Holy Spirit. How does that feel? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. I know it's so deep, it's such a deep association in there. Dissolving into love. You know, so deeply associated with relationship and lover. And, you know, and if that's been part of a pathway, times where a lot of the opening or healing and facing the fear of intimacy has happened, then yeah, it's just, it can be a hold, a hold in the mind. And so it's just, just an ongoing prayer to. Keep giving the core of the desire is pure, you know. You're desiring just such a total immersion in love that there's no separate self. Right. Yes. <laughs> exactly. That's what it is. Yeah. I can feel that. That's what I actually want to experience. Just giving myself over to God. It's that's what it is. But I, there is a belief that, yeah. 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 It comes out through that yeah. prism, like through, yeah. out through this filter of. I'm a person and it, I need a person, yeah. then it's just, yeah, I so. And then it's just being played out in life, yeah, and seen in life and witnessed to in life. So, but yeah, it is, that's it. You are working with the core. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do feel that. I can see that. Mm -hmm. I really can. It's, it's very clear in my mind, but it still shows itself in different, in, in, in relationship kind of forms. Or the wish or the desire, even though I know I'm more than I know who knows this. But I can see what the desire really is. It, it has also, it, in a way, it has to do for me, and I know I think the Course is not really big on that, you know, with self love, with, with loving myself first. Somehow, I feel that's all. That's that. It has to do something with that as well because I'm I'm willing to give all this love, but I don't. I, there are so many things that I don't love about myself, or I'm not gentle with myself. Or, yeah, that's just how I feel. Yeah, gentleness is important. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
sure. Yeah, I think what's so great about about this is it it'll keep coming down to like the desire and the prayer of the heart, and that really does come down to identity. Like, who is that? That, if I go up a little further. You know, who is it that, that could experience not being loved? If you see the, like, see the eye all the way through, that's when it's like a clue. There's an I am not being loved. If I perceive someone leaving, I don't know what's going to happen. I desire a particular type of relationship. And that's basically the core of it, when we can get down to the core of it is just seeing that's the I that's upset, you know, that's the I that, that then had, wants solutions, different, different types of solutions. And then that's when the point of prayer is, it just comes down to the, that that willingness, that little willingness to to let it go. To see that it is causing pain and it seems to be afraid of sacrifice but it, it's already in a state of sacrifice. There, there isn't really a future sacrifice, that's part of the trick. As if, if I let go of this desire I might not get what I really, really want. But the wanting and the I are the same. It's part of the same self. There's a wanting. And that comes right back to the core. The very, very first even possibility of separation from God was a like what if there is something else? There was a wanting to know, a wanting to see, a wanting to something other than than purely being in oneness. And so everything else that comes out of that is just a reflection of that core, very first hypothetical instant. So that's what I've found over and over and over again. It's, it's coming back to the willingness to somehow let it go with the prayer of show me it's not a sacrifice. <laughs> show me. Show me. And not only show me it's not a sacrifice, blow me away. <laughs> there's a fear about that. There's really a fear about having to let that go. Mm. Yeah, yeah. There's like a, it can almost be a safety because it's holding, yeah. it's still holding the self in place. Even the unrequited love, I haven't, I haven't got it now, and I haven't got it yet, but it, I will. You know, even like the hoping and the longing, it's still part of a movement that's keeping, keeping something going. Yeah, and that's the amazing thing, really, I think, about A Course in Miracles and it being a pathway of relationships is if, like, the special relationship is the ego's most boasted gift and it's there saying, you know, this is where your salvation is, you know, it's in a relationship, whether it's with a, a partner or it's with a, a child or it's with a dog or it's with, you know, chocolate, sleep. 
whatever the, the you know this fulfillment this longing for fulfillment with something or someone yeah well that's when when the prayer is all you need is the little willingness to say okay now I see it I see it's causing me pain I see that I'm not actually getting what I want from it and now I can see that I am willing to, to give it over to you with with that prayer show me it's not a sacrifice show me I'm giving up sacrifice actually <laughs> and and then it's like the the spirit does provide what you think you need you know like relationships do come in to show you that they cannot be a god substitute you know and the, or whatever it is it's given you like these things do come in and that's what's so amazing about this journey is we have to be shown that it's not a sacrifice to go towards God. You know, like it has to be through some kind of attraction to go towards God. Otherwise, why would you take any steps in that direction? So it's like these replacements come in one after another. Not they're not meant to be a God substitute. Like that's what this world has tried. You know, the ego tries to get a love relationship as a substitute for God or. You know, to try to make the perfect home here as a substitute for home in heaven. But the Spirit will provide by meeting the needs of what we believe is needed as long for as long as it doesn't hold us back or cause some kind of delay, you know, in the journey. But these things do come in, you know, to keep showing you it's not it's not in this but keep practicing forgiveness with it with everything i bring to you it's not a trick <laughs> no, but keep practicing forgiveness with what it is that's brought to you and you know and you do find your heart keeps opening 